me and my missus are always speaking about it. Like we look back on like the time at the hospital when he was first born and like two months old, etc. And keep looking back at things and you think, wow, like it was actually him. We don't even like him now. He's so much bigger. He's kind of doing different things. And mm-hmm. like you said, when he's in a couple months time, when he's been able, going to be able to walk, and think it's just going to be like wow, he's walking. It feels like yesterday he was in hospital kind of thing. So you know I mean, just have to yeah, appreciate exactly. and, like live each day with him and just enjoy it, man. E two five eight back again, and this time we have someone I've known for for a while now. You know, it's probably coming up to like a decade. Probably um, met each other playing for England a um, long time ago. Um, he's from up north. I'm down south. Uh, you know, he was a he was a rock in our team. Someone that you could trust. You know, for every game, he was going to give you a consistent performance. And um, also, when he gets on the ball, you know, he shows what he can do. So, today I have with me Sheffield United player, Kian Bryan. How's it going, bro? It's good, bro. Like I said, man, it's, um, it's difficult times at the moment, but I've just had a little one in it. So, um, I've just been keeping busy with him. Um, he's like seven months now, so getting to that stage where he just kind of getting a bit more active now and doing things, so it's good, man. And obviously trying to keep as fit as possible. Yeah, 100%, man. Congratulations, by the way. That's a, that's a big achievement. Like, I always ask uh, young dads and just dads I know, uh, where does that rank in achievements in your life? Bro, like, the best of the best, man. Like, it's, you can't explain the feeling, bro. Like, as soon as it comes into this world, it was just like, instant love like love you've never felt it's crazy man it just makes you more mature as a person as well i think that's been a big thing for me like i was already mature anyways like a young lad but this definitely has made me feel like i'm a real dad now kind of thing yeah 100 uh what, what type of things does the missus get you doing with him bro from the minute i get up in the morning yeah <laughs> stop, bro, like, um, so I wake up, he normally gets up now, so he sleeps through till about 6, 6.30, so up at that time and then he comes down for his breakfast, we'll give him like 20 minutes watching TV, he'll have his breakfast, etc. And then it's time to make bottles, to clean the house, nappies, next dinner time, sleeps, putting him to sleep, because obviously babies don't, babies don't go straight to sleep in it, so obviously yeah. that kind of get him into the routine of sleep, which is mad important because it just, it just, if they have a good sleep like morning and lunch, then the night time is less. Whereas mm. if like you go to work at a different time or something, then it can off routine, isn't it? Yeah, so it's just routine. Yeah, yeah you gotta be careful now if you're saying seven months, because he's gonna start like holding on to things, kind of walking from maybe one chair to another chair or something like that, you know, uh, holding on. So yeah, you gotta be careful, man. Exactly, bro. It'll be soon be walking, man. Time flies. It's like, it feels like yesterday mm. when I was in the hospital, but it's a blessing, man. It's crazy. One thing, you, one thing you won't notice is um, obviously it's your baby. So, you know, if, like everyone's baby, you're looking at your baby like, oh, wow, like blah, blah, blah. But trust me, in about five months' time, six months' time, the way he's going to change, like so quickly, his face, everything, you're going to look back in like maybe two years' time. And look at pictures from now and you're gonna be like wow it looks so different you know what i mean bro me and my missus are always speaking about it like we look back on like the time at the hospital when he was first born and like two months old etc and keep looking back at things and you think wow like it was actually him we don't even like him now he's so much bigger he's kind of doing different things and mm-hmm. like you said when he's in a couple months time when he's been able going to be able to walk and think it's just going to be like wow he's walking it feels like yesterday he was in hospital kind of thing so you know i mean just have to yeah exactly live each day with him and just enjoy it man so uh let's get into your to your missus quickly um uh, brooke um she's obviously starring on current coronation street has been for many yeah, years now big out in Canada, by the way huh yeah 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 big out in Canada. she always says it's like one of the second most watched of in england yeah i know in in canada it's, it's big i know as well so um so you know I, I don't know how it is could you just shed some light on you know, how she had a baby in real life, but in the show, how does that affect her? And uh, are you lot currently watching um, now that you have a lot of time in quarantine? Watching Corey, sorry? Yeah, yeah. 
Um, well, obviously, having the baby was kind of like, we were together for three years and we just kind of felt it was the right time to kind of make that step in life. And obviously, I understand it's a big step. It's the biggest step we can make having a baby together. So we just felt, felt like it was the right time. Um, we just got our own house and things. So it was just that perfect timing, really. Um, so yeah, we was both happy with the decision we made. Um, and then obviously, she had to leave Coronation Street with obviously maternity leave. So she so could look after the baby, which was hard for her because she was in Cory from she, when she was. 11 and obviously she's 28 next month so it's been a long time that she was there similar to us with football kind of thing so she's been there since her baby um, and then obviously she had to leave which it was an emotional time for her but obviously at this moment in time she's just enjoying time with the baby and just like just appreciating life because obviously with what's going on in the world now like you just kind of sometimes to take a step back and just think like how fortunate we are and how lucky we are to have what we have kind of thing yeah so uh, do you not watch it? Like, obviously, during quarantine no. and stuff like that? Nah, no. man. Like, she, she, she doesn't really like watching herself back on TV. Like, you know, like, how I can compare it. Like, you know, when you play football or like, you watch interviews sometimes, you kind of cringe in it. Like, it feels weird yeah, to yeah. your own voice. So, when it's on, if it's a big, like, it's a big scene, then she'll watch it. But, like, day to day now, we don't watch it. Man. Okay, so transitioning from the fact that you said, I didn't know that actually, you said she was on Corey for, she's been on Corey for 17 years. Yeah, something like that, yeah. So she joined when she was 11 or 12 and then she left obviously last year, she had the baby, so yeah, non-stop wow. since then. For more content like this, like, share and subscribe.